Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. Today I am going to show you how to design this slider infographic slide in PowerPoint. So let's start. The first step is to create the rounded corner rectangle. Go to new slide, insert, shapes, select rectangle rounded corners. Here you can see one yellow uh, dot or small circle kind of a thing. If you drag towards the left, the curves becomes more sharp and if you drag towards uh, the right, it becomes more uh, round corners. So you drag it uh, towards the right and give the height say 5.7 inches and width as say 2.4 inches. All right. Select the object and go to format and shape outline uh, make as no outline and in the format shape go to fill and select gradient fill and I'm going to give uh, two gradient stops. The first stop I'm going to give the color say a uh, blue and I'm going to change the type to radial. All right, and then selecting the second point, second stop, and give more color, go to more colors. You can select any light color. All right, I'm going to create one more uh, rounded rectangle by pressing Ctrl D and increase the height to say six, and this can be a two point seven inches and solid fill maybe you can use the color gray and go to pattern fill and you can select any pattern as you like maybe I'm going to select say this pattern and go to effects shadows I'm going to select say inside center and increase the blur size make it maybe 25 and the transparency also we will increase maybe 50 that will be better all right now i'm going to place this behind the rectangle Send to back and select both of these rectangles in the format align say center right so we got our rectangle ready now let me make this gray color somewhat light so I can just say pattern here and maybe this is okay or lesser than that one yes all right now i'm going to create the circle i'll go to insert shapes and select the oval and give the height and width the 2.4 inches and solid fill make it white and shape outlines no outlines Right. I'm going to create one more uh, circle by pressing Ctrl D and you can increase the transparency level maybe say 60% and you give the shape outline as a white outline I'm just going to increase the weight of the line and maybe this one two 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 and a half points or or maybe one half all right and i'm going to place this behind send to back and select both of the circles and align make it center oh sorry before that one i have to just increase the size to two point 
say a 9 inches and this also 2.9 inches and then select both of this and aligned center and align middle all right i'm just going to group this one and bring it exactly on top of this one and place it here exactly yes I'm going to place the icon uh, which I have uh, in my library. I'm just going to uh, bring it here and you can write down your text here. Go to insert text box. Just say a title, sorry. Title and enter your description here. Make it center. I'm going to use the font Helvetica or any other font which you like. You can make as a white font or whichever font you like. And I'm going to insert one more text box, say which I'm going to say one. Increase the size and say blue color and bring it here. All right. So this is the option one. So we I'm, I'm going to create a similar uh, the slider, uh, two sliders, and we can just change the color. So first I'm going to select all this one. Right mouse click, say group. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate uh, slider. All right, and ungroup this one. I'm going to change the color. Say maybe a green and a light green here. I'm going to move this text out of the slider make this color as well as green and I'm going to select these three items and make it to center all right and you can place your text here if you want you can reduce the size make it bold and this one i'm going to place it here similarly i'm going to create one more slider by pressing ctrl d bring it this side and i'm going to move the circle down drag it down All right, and bring this here. This one make it two, and this one make it three. I'm going to change this color, say some purple color. More colors, I'm just going to reduce it. All right, and this color as well. I'm going to give a purple all right the font size are too big for this one I'm just going to reduce the font size uh, make it bold and bring it to center the same thing 88 bold all right I'm just going to group this one, all the objects. And 
select this object format align top so it has come in the perfect one line that's it from me friends if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel osvfx see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye